Hi folks and welcome to the EJW Info Group or Twitter Accounts YouTube channel. Um, today I wanted to touch on a topic. Some people ask me how I track boats, ships, things of that nature. Um, and I use AIS tracking, uh, which is automatic identification system, I believe. Um, I know very little about boats. I know more about planes. But basically, boats have transponders on, just like aircraft, and they're great at transmitting their location. Uh, I find it particularly helpful. Uh, you may ask, what's this got to do with aviation? But I find it particularly helpful when tracking search and rescue helicopters, because all the search and rescue helicopters have AIS on board as well. Uh, so if you've got a SAR job going on, you can generally track what's happening, see the lifeboats and things like that on an AIS tracker. So that's what uh, I use them for. Um, as usual, uh, this video is unscripted, it's just me having a little waffle on. Um, do yourself a favour, if anything's bullied on the screen, make sure you're viewing at full screen uh, with the highest resolution available on YouTube, like 720p or 1080p. So, I'll, uh, oh, and microphone, apologies if there's a bit of background hiss. If you do want to help, uh, there's a £70 microphone that I've got on my Amazon wish list. I'll stick the details in the description, uh, but I'm taking donations for that to help improve my audio. So, we'll dive right in. I've got my three apps that I use. As with anything, I find if you have different um, providers, so like I use 360 radar for aviation um, but I'll also intermix maybe Frida or ADSB exchange as well just because some services have better coverage in different areas it's exactly the same for, for AIS my favorite app coming up first is Boatwatch and here you go so that is uh, this is all iOS by the way so there's a free version and there's a 799 pro version and it's very basic. Um, however, there's a couple of features in Boatwatch that I really like. When you start zooming in, you can get some chart data, as you see here. Uh, so you might be wondering why there's a cluster of ships there, and you zoom in, and you find that it's a, it's a little uh, anchor point for the Humber Estuary. And you can see all, all the uh, ships traveling in the what I assume are shipping lanes again I know nothing about uh, marine stuff but I find it very handy to have this chart data on because it assists you uh, knowing why uh, something's in a certain position so as I'm zooming around you can you can see you've got a dredge channel there uh, Humber Estuary and with all of these apps you can you can click on a vessel um, and it'll show you the track it's not the clearest of tracks that one but you can see he's gone out and he's uh, come back in and then you can bring some more information up about the vessel uh, you'll you know, have the standard picture database there it'll pull a picture in uh, most importantly right at the bottom when the last update was received so you know how uh, long ago that plot was um, and then another feature I like with Baywatch is you often find beacons come on for platforms um, so the search and rescue helicopter at Humberside goes out to platforms an awful lot and this can be really handy um, app to use when you get platforms pop up um, so these will probably correspond to to there you go uh, the Pickerel Alpha platform um, so platforms show up on there as well on occasion um, so I don't know the ins and outs of why they show there and they don't in other apps or do they show all the time I haven't got a clue but I generally find that with the chart data and with the platform information that tends this one tends to be my favorite app and i also find the coverage quite good as well and just as i mentioned the search and rescue helicopter there and um, 
you can click on that bring up the vessel details and you see that it uh, last update received 1333 on the 16th of december it's quite handy to now okay so next up what we've got we've got marine traffic uh, so this is marine traffic ios and this is four pound 99 um, marine traffic and vessel finder are websites in their own right uh, that you've probably heard of and they're apps are like shrunken down versions of, of their website um, so you get the standard uh, information the standard color scheme and graphical layout again you can bring up more information about the vessels menus are a little bit nicer as you can see you can see where it's gone in and out of see when it's last tracked see the ports that have called in um so yeah uh, the only thing you don't get of course is the chart data um so but again sometimes you find that it's got better coverage out to sea just having a little look at, at what's out there now. See if there's anything interesting. Again, I don't tend to find platforms come up in this, but I'm sure someone will pop up in the comments if I'm uh, incorrect. Um, and some of these have satellite uh, AIS inputs as well, which is which is quite handy. And so you've got various different. Uh, oh, you've got some weather. Oh, that's pretty cool isn't it we've got some weather overlays here that you can add on that could be quite handy in wind speeds you've got a what must be a forecast function there um as you set notifications i don't know whether that's a premium yeah that's a premium feature but look like you need an account um, some of these might actually work if you have a free account on the main website as well. So it's worth having a, having a play around. But this is the offering um, for marine traffic. Okay. So next one we'll pop to is Vessel Finder. Again, this is another option. This is free on iOS. So it's ad supported as you can see at the bottom. Got a nice uh, ad for a Hoover Ceramic Hob which I'm not in need of at the minute but again I've got labels on here so vessel names appear can get a bit congested when you zoomed out but when you zoomed in that can be helpful again you can click on the vessels get some basic information on the vessel you can view the track which you can on all of these websites so you get the oh he's been a busy boy isn't he um, so you get the the tracks um and there'll be various so yeah some satellite data coming into that by the looks of this menu and again it looks very very similar to the vessel finder uh, website uh, vessel finder and marine traffic have three offerings on the internet to give them a quick google for your desktop pc but also these are the app so yeah thought I'd give you a quick look at AIS apps which ones I use like I say boat boat watch is my preferred um, and that is free or something like known for the pro version and um, then we've got marine traffic which is 499 on iOS and then we've got vessel finder there which is free on ios so this is ios i'm an ios user and um, so i'm just covering ios apps at this stage and um, hope you enjoyed the video found it useful and um, that's ais in a nutshell okay everyone hope you're all well take care and i'll see you in the next video